Welcome to Northern Lights over Arkham. I'm JP and this time I'm playing a brand new investigator, Dexter Drake. I just got the novella uh, yesterday and I had to just build a deck for Dexter and try him out in a campaign. So this will be a four part series uh, starting from the Dream Eaters Web of Dreams campaign 1B scenario. So we're playing The Waking Nightmare. Let's look at Dexter's deck. So I didn't spend that much time thinking how to build Dexter's deck. Uh, of course his ability to juggle assets and get discounts for them uh, is possibly really good if you build your deck accordingly but I went the route of just making him strong at uh, investigating with events and sixth sense and also able to fight with shriveling spectral razor and daring chair and I added lucky secret case to add draw to the deck there's also uh, a few allies, David Renfield for resource generation and Leo De Luca. Both uh, Leo is just efficient adding actions so you can do more in the short time you have. Uh, I added Lone Wolf because if I'm playing an investigator that has access to rogue cards and I'm playing a true solo. Lone Wolf is just one free resource every turn if you get it onto the table. My random weakness is haunted. That's not too bad. And other than that, I ended I had one uh, deck spot open. So I added painkillers just to have something to heal damage. Uh, the assets can soak up some some damage and horror, but it's nice to have have a way getting rid of damage because there's only six six health on Dexter. That's enough of the deck. Let's see what we're up against. So the waking nightmare. I won't go into uh, detail, I won't be reading cards, so if this is your first time watching uh, Web of Dreams scenarios, I encourage you to either play them yourself first and immerse yourself into the story. It's a really interesting one, uh, at least in my opinion, but because reading that much text just takes too much time for these kind of videos so I'll be just uh, seeing what happens and noting what uh, additions we put into the campaign log. So I decided to take Dr. Maheswaran with me rather than uh, leave her with the patient so she can help us get uh, away from the staff members and uh, other than that I I have two chaos packs. Uh, this is the chaos pack I'm using for a chaos pack and this is the bag I'm using as an uh, infestation bag but more on the, uh, the infestation bag when uh, it comes into play. Okay so that is the scenario and uh, investigator so let's get going. If you like my content, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. I have uh, pre-shuffled the decks, so let's draw our opening hand. So let's see what we get. Mm, not a really good hand, so we have watched this. Two copies of Spectral Razor, Emergency Cash, and Mr. Brulee. 
I'm not really keen on keeping any of these. I really need to find uh, some way of getting clues. And after that, some way of fighting. So we mulligan everything and draw new, five new cards. Okay. So, yeah, I got the Dexter's signature weakness, which is Yastarot. It's a curse pact. Uh, Dexter, Drake deck only, replacement. Put Yasrot in the play in your threat area. You cannot put assets in the play. Two actions, discard Yasrot. Okay, so... Let's draw a new card. So we get uh, quick thinking. Another six cents. Emergency cash and lucky cigarette case. Okay, so at least we got a way to get clues right at the start. That's good. Let's shuffle the mulligan cards back into the deck and start our turn. Okay. So I think I'll start by playing down the six cents. It costs three action, uh, three resources. And I think I'll play the Lucky Cigarette case also. And right now I think I'll just investigate for my last action. And actually I'll commit a quick thinking to the test. Just so if we succeed we get a free action for this turn and can move to a next location saving us time so i am uh, five plus one so six versus three so we pull minus two and that means we succeed but not by two so we unfortunately don't get the extra action but we at least get the clue from here and uh, we need four clues to advance so those were my actions uh, we go to upkeep i draw a derringer nice something to fight with and i gain one resource so that is the first turn let's go to the next turn we add a doom onto the agenda and the agenda has only threshold of two so it will be advancing fast i usually go into the records office but i think i'll leave that location as it is and go into the emergency room so let's just see what our encounter deck is first so it's night terrors Put Night Terrors in the play in your threat area. Forced, after you fail a skill test, reveal the top three cards of your deck. Draw each weakness revealed this way and remove the other cards from the game. If Night Terrors is in your threat area, test Willpower 4. Uh, after this test ends, discard Night Terrors, even if you fail. Okay, so... Uh, we need to get rid of that, but... Um, I think I'll first move into the emergency room. There's one clue here. Uh, when I'm in the emergency room, each of your skill test plus one difficulty for each card committed to it. So it's bad to commit cards to tests here. Well, uh, as a second action, I'll investigate. So, I am 5 versus 2. Uh, yeah, a bit worried about Night Terrors, but I'm 3 up, so it's small probability. But now that I'm talking about it, it's gonna be a tentacle. I'm 
can just feel it. Give it a good shuffle before I pull. Oh, minus one. We get the clue. And I think it's last action. Just so that I can play the Derringer, I'll uh, next turn I'll play Emergency Cash as my last action. So I get three resources. And that's my turn. No enemies, we go to upkeep. I draw one card. I get the Warn of Protection. And uh, not, not a clue, I get a resource. So I have five resources. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. So we add a Doom, so the agenda advances. We shuffle the set aside spiders encounter set into the encounter deck with, along with the discard pile. And we resolve the infestation card. So first we shuffle these spiders into the deck. I found this scenario to be really challenging on true solo, so hopefully we can manage it because I want to get a lot of XP to upgrade Dexter fast. Hopefully we can manage this scenario, but it's a bit swingy with the infestation bag. So that is done. Next up. We resolve the infestation begins. I place one damage token on a location with the most clues. I'll place it here. I've already created the infestation bag, so there are four tablet tokens, one skull and two cultist tokens here. I'll try to keep it just in front of my nose so I remember to uh, do the infestation test. It's really easy to forget to do it. And we put this infestation test card here. And now we have a Doom Threshold of 6 and Forced Ability at the end of the Mythos phase. Make an infestation test. Okay. So we draw an encounter card. Hopefully Nothing too bad, so rotting remains. I'll just uh, test this uh, three, uh, five versus three. It's a uh, elder thing, it's minus x, where x is the number of infested locations, so it's one minus one. I pass, so that's done. And <clears throat> now we do the infestation test. Uh, okay. So a skull means that uh, we set it aside. Just put it there. And uh, we search the encounter deck and discard pile for a spider enemy and spawn it at the infested location nearest to your investigator. So they spawn there. Uh, so I just pick a swarm of spiders. At least it, they didn't spawn on me, so that's something. And it has a uh, swarming two, so I pick two cards from the top of my deck, and these are copies of these cards, uh, this enemy card. Okay, so I'll just put it there. We don't have to deal with them before we get a lot further in the scenario. Okay, 
So that is the mythos phase done. So we go to investigation phase. First action, I'll move to the experimental therapies ward. It's a force route location with two clues. And I will investigate. I think I'll take one horror. So the throat drops by two. Let's pick the right back. So I'm testing five versus two for investigation with the sixth sense. It's a minus one. We get a clue. I'll take another horror. Uh, five versus two. Elder sign. I actually need to check what Dexter's Elder Sign does. So the Elder Sign effect is plus two. You may return an asset from your play area to your hand, then draw one card. Uh, no, I, uh, there's nothing to return to hand, but I will use, <laughs> now that I remembered I have the lucky cigarette case, I'll use the lucky cigarette case. <clears throat> because I succeeded by two, so I draw a card. And that's my turn. Uh, except that I will advance the act deck. I'll spend the four clues. So we put the set aside stairwell and basement door locations into play. And if it's agenda 2 or 3, make an investigation test. Okay. So... Put the stairwell here. And the three basement door locations. Let's add some connection locations here. Okay, so that is my turn. Enemy phase, nothing happens. We go to upkeep. Oh yeah, uh, the infestation test. Let's do that first. So we get a tablet, and tablet does nothing. You just set it aside. Okay, and now we need to get control of Randolph Carter, who's the patient we're looking for, and he's in one of these basement door locations. Okay, so that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. The card, it's a locked door. That's the location with the most clues. Let's just Put it here, doesn't matter. Get a free free card basically. And let's remember to do the investigation test. So we get a cultist. So we Infest another location, so the waiting room is also infested, and now the resign action is not uh, available there anymore, and that's it. So we go to the investigation phase. Uh, first action, I think I'll play down the derringer just in case.
And second action, we'll move to the stairwell. And I think I'll need the clues I could do an agility test and make a free move here. I think I won't. So we'll just investigate. Actually now I could do this first. Yeah, I'll commit what's this to the test. I'll spend two resources on it. So I am six versus four. I hopefully get rid of that so I don't have to worry about it anymore. Oh nice. So minus two we just barely get rid of it and unfortunately we didn't succeed enough so we don't get the resources but it doesn't matter that much because we already got the gun in play so last action I'll just investigate here so I'm uh, 5 versus 3 and this is just basically to get the victory one location more XP so we succeed, I get the clue, and that's our turn. Enemy phase, nothing happens, we go to upkeep. I draw my weakness haunted, so now my skill tests that are equal will fail. I think I will get rid of that. Okay. So that's the turn, let's go to the next turn. We add another Doom and take an Encounter card and it's a Suspicious Orderly so it comes into play engage with us. Uh, let's mark it with this. I think uh, the first two actions will be to Get rid of the haunted. Oh yeah, uh, almost forgot to do the infestation test. And actually, now that I remember, we should have shuffled these outbreak cards into the encounter deck. This happens. There's so much uh, setup uh, in between act and <coughs> agenda advancements in this scenario that there's always something I forget. Well, at least now they're in the deck. Oh yeah, and uh, let's do the infestation test. Uh, it's a tablet, so nothing happens. Okay, now we get rid of that. Uh, we use the free action on the doctor to exhaust this suspicious orderly. So it stays there. Last action, we'll pick one of these rooms and move into it. Uh, I'll pick this one. Morgue. Okay, there's one clue here, it's a Shroud of Five, and there's a uh, action, test, will three. If you succeed, discover one clue at this location. If you fail, take one horror. After the last remaining clue is discovered from the morgue, make an infestation test. Okay. So, enemy face, nothing happens, upkeep, this orderly readies, and we draw one card. And we gain one resource. Okay. That is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Let's add one Doom to the agenda. Then counter Cordis. Rotting remains. I think I'll just test this without committing anything. So I'm 5 versus 3.
minus two, so I pass. And infestation test. Uh, there shouldn't be a plus one here. Uh, I actually have to check if I put one wrong token into the... Yeah, that plus one was an extra one. Let's see if there's the correct one. So, that plus one is actually a cultist. I'll have to change it later, but the cultist means we investigate a new location. We investigate that location. And we put this back into the investigation bag. And I think I'll change this between turns. Okay, uh, so investigation phase. Mm. I think I'll just do the wheel test here. First action. Oh, yeah, the doctor would have read it. First action uh, five versus three. It's a cultist. We reveal another token. If we fail, we make an infestation test. It's uh, minus three, so we unfortunately fail. And we have to take an extra infestation test, and as we fail, we take one horror. It's a tablet, so nothing unfortunately uh, happens. We try the test again. Minus three. I'll take a horror. And let's just try it again. Uh, cultist. Come on. Minus two, so we succeed. We get the clue, and because there's a force effect there, when we discover the clue, we still make the infestation test. And it's a tablet, so nothing happens. And that's our turn. The orderly moves here and engages us. It doesn't doesn't do any damage, so that doesn't matter. And we go to upkeep, so we draw one card, we get a Spectra Razor, that's uh, really good, and we get the resource. So, I changed the plus one to a correct token for the infestation pack. So, let's continue by placing one Doom onto the agenda and drawing on counter card and it is outbreak so we make an infestation test and if we would be at an infestation the location we would treat our tablets as skulls uh, we get a skull So, we search for a spider enemy. I pick the swarm of spiders. Actually... I could pick the spider of Leng. And try to kill it with the Spectral Razor and the Derringer. Because do that. And we still need to do the regular uh, infestation test. 
and we get a tablet so nothing happens and this enemy is engaged with us Let's put it here uh, first action actually I'll do the first action of exhausting doc the doctor and this guy is evaded Uh, the first real action I'll pay two to play the spectral racer. So I am eight versus three, and it is a four, so I pass, but not by two, but still I pass and do three damage onto the. Spider of Leng. Uh, second action, I'll use the Derringer. Uh, I'm 5 versus 3. Uh, cultist, so let's see. Hopefully, I pass this test. <laughs> or the fail. Oh dear. So we make an infestation test. And <laughs> it's a tablet, so nothing happens. Last action, we'll try to kill it again. We'll use the Derringer again. 5 versus 3. How oh, in the... I'm always drawing that cultist. Just unbelievable. Well, it's a plus one, so we at least kill it. But that took a whole turn. That's unfortunate. But at least this, this spider is defeated. And uh, enemy phase, nothing happens. Go to upkeep. This guy readies and is engaged with us. And we draw one card and we gain one resource. Okay, so that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. The encounter card is uh, locked door. Again, we can just put it anywhere. Just put it here, doesn't matter. So a free pass, and because there's only the cultist here, we pull the cultist, we make a infestation, and put these back into the infestation bag. Okay, so first thing first, we evade this orderly. Uh, we move here and uh, we move to the basement door in the center and it's the operation operating room uh, it's a lot of text to action choose an investigator at your location just acknowledge for if you succeed here Three damage from the investigator. If you fail, deal one damage to that investigator. Well, we haven't taken any damage. There's only one clue there. So I think I'll just investigate. So I'm five versus two. We succeed. Uh, we don't. Uh, yeah, it's. Uh, one, two, three, four, so it's a minus four. And nothing we can do about it. So we fail. Oh well. This guy readies, and this readies. Enemy face, nothing happens. And upkeep those ready, and we draw one card, and we gain one resource. Okay. So that was that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add 
another doom so the agenda advances so we find each suspicious orderly enemy and replace them with the set aside corrupt orderly enemies now we at least can kill it but we don't have a good way to do that and the other one is in the deck so search for him there he is and next up we we shuffle the set aside agents of Atlak Nacha encounters into the into the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck so more spiders and nasty things and these are really big spiders so hopefully we can avoid them okay And I'll just check. And we add one skull and one cultist token into the infestation bag. Yeah. So I need to pick up those tokens. Okay, so we have a cultist and a skull that we add into the infestation bag. So even more enemies and infestation starts to happen. Okay. And we get an encounter card. And it is uh, corrupted orderly. Oh dear. Okay, it spawns engaged with us. So we have to deal with him first. And let's go to the investigation phase. So first action, I'll try to use the Derringer and shoot it. Uh, I'm testing five versus two. It's a skull, it's a minus three if I'm engaged with a staff enemy, so I deal one damage. And because we're not in a infestated location, we don't cancel any damage on the him. Uh, I think I need to commit this ward of protection to the next fight check. Because we want to be at least two up for the test, so we commit that. So, four versus two. It's a zero. So, we defeat this enemy. And last action. I think I will just investigate and this time I'll commit this lucky secret case to the test. It's a minus one. I'll exhaust the other lucky secret case. Chain smoker Dexter here. Uh, we draw a card. Okay, and we get the clue. So we get those victory points from that location. And that's our turn. This corrupted orderly moves to the stairwell. And we go to upkeep. So we draw a card. Well, lucky we got another ward of protection if we get anything nasty. And we gain one resource. 
So that's that turn. Let's go to the next turn. And I just noticed that I forgot to do the infestation test last turn. So let's do that before we do anything else. So we get, got a tablet last turn. So luckily nothing happened. So we don't have to backtrack or anything. Uh, we add one doom here. We get an encounter card. It's the Grey Weaver. Something I didn't want to see. Oh dear. How do we... How do we deal with that? Just have to check. Yeah, this, this can be really bad. We back, basically have nothing to deal with that with that guy right at the moment. Okay, so the infestation test. Uh, we, get, uh, we get a skull, so let's search for an enemy this time. We pick up the swarm of spiders. And it's a swarming too, so let's spawn it. Yeah, let's just put it there. Nothing we can do about that. Okay, investigation phase. Well, well. I think we'll just have to try to evade this guy. So we commit the Ward of Protection to the test. So we are 3 versus 3. Not many tokens in the back that help us in this situation. <laughs> Auto fail. Yeah. Uh, we'll just have to try to evade it again. That would have been great the last test. Well, maybe third time is the charm. No. So that's our investigation phase. There really isn't anything we could have done there differently. So enemy phase. This guy moves here. We actually need to put that token there. So this guy hits us for one damage and two horror. And that guy hits us for one damage and one horror. Okay, well, upkeep phase. Hopefully, we draw something to help us. Well, lone wolf is isn't really helpful at the moment. Yeah, we get one resource and. That's that turn. Let's see if we die next turn. Uh, we add another Doom. The encounter card is Night Terrors. Okay. Uh, just put it there. Yeah. Uh, we might as well. Well, uh, at least the lone wolf has an agility icon, so that's a bit helpful. So, first action, 
I'll try to evade the Grey Weaver. I'll commit the Lone Wolf to the test. Uh, oh my god. Oh yeah. Uh, before we continue with that, I'll just make the infestation test quickly. And uh, the infestation spreads. And just counting, yeah, uh, yeah, when it, we need to do another infestation test because the stairwell got infected, uh, inf infested, well, that didn't do anything, luckily. Okay, so still 3 versus 3 for evading the Grey Weaver, <laughs> minus 4, we fail and make an infestation test uh, yeah <laughs> well this went south really fast okay so that failed now rather than dying here if we move, oh yeah, we can't move because Grey Weaver is ready. Oh damn. I can survive one turn if I evade the... I take two horror from the Weaver. Well, that kills one horror here and one damage here. And... Yeah, I don't think I'll survive, so I'll just try to evade the Weaver, so I need a plus one. Or an Elder sign. Minus four, fail, and I'll try to evade the Grey Weaver. Well, at least these are fast turns. Minus two, no dice. Uh, that's the investigation phase, uh, enemy phase, these guys attack me. Uh, I put one damage and one horror from this guy here. So the doc doctor Maheswaran is defeated. And then I'll put one damage and two horror here. So I'm one horror away from dying. Uh, upkeep. I draw one card. <laughs> Shriveling a bit late to the party. And actually I can put it into play as a fast action. But still... Oh well, we'll see. And one resource. Okay. That's that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Okay, so probably the last turn of the game. So we had one doom, uh, the encounter card is uh, Rotting Remains, so we might die here and right now. Uh, I'll commit this Drawn to the Flame to the test. Maybe I pull some Miracle and draw and some card that saves me, well, you never know. With the lucky cigarette case, so uh, I'm 6 versus 3, minus 1. Uh, we succeed, and I succeed by 2 or more, so I draw a card. Uh, what this helps a bit. Uh, as a fast action, once per turn, uh, once per round, I may discard an asset, and I'll discard the Derringer, and I play an asset down minus one resource cost. So at least we have a spell to defend ourselves now. But that should have been here a couple turns earlier, so we could have just killed this weaver. Well, we might as well try to kill the weaver. I'll commit watch this to the test. I'll spend three resources on it and I'll... Uh, wait a second... 
yeah, uh, the infestation test first. It's a tablet, nothing happens. And yeah, so I am a six versus four with the shriveling. I might just die if I take any horror from this, but minus two, so I hit. I do two damage onto the Weaver. And second action, oh yeah, and I get a bunch of resources that are pretty much useless right now. Second action, I'll shrivel again. Uh, I'm uh, 5 versus 4. Uh, sorry, 6 versus 4. Minus 1. We'll hit. And our last action. Let's shrivel again. This time it's. Five versus four. Come on. Let me at least get this victory point. Plus one. Oh. Uh, so we managed to kill this guy. It goes into the victory display. And that's our turn. Unfortunately, that doesn't save us because this guy is still engaged with us. And he hits us. We take one damage and one horror. And we are defeated, and unfortunately we drop our clues on the location. So we don't get the victor points from that. Okay, well... That was the Waking Nightmare. Uh, everything was going really well, and yeah, totally forgot this, so... I think I felt like... Yeah, these cards would have been removed from the deck. And... Yeah, bit hard to backtrack now. But yeah, I'll play it as... I try to do the test once. And failed, and discarded three cards. There's so many things you need to remember while playing this scenario, it's just tough when you're playing uh, solo. When I'm, I've played this with uh, two player, with another player, there's always one of us just checking all the time that nothing gets missed. But yeah, that's that's this is a high maintenance scenario, so to speak. Well, uh, we got defeated by Sanity. We get a mental trauma. And uh, let's see, we got two, three, four, five, six, seven victory points. Well, that's okay. Usually I like to get like 10 victory points at least from this scenario, but it is what it is, and <laughs> we have to live with that. So uh, let's check out the resolution real quick. So we got defeated. So we skip the resolution 4. We and we record one tally mark on the steps of the bridge. Resolution 4. Mm, fluff text. Uh, we record that Dr. Mas Foran is missing. And uh, I suffer another mental trauma. And Randolph escaped the hospital on his own, and I can add him to my deck. I think I will. And we go to resolution 5, so we earn uh, the se 7 experience. We remove the infestation back, and we continue to 
interlude. I'll go through what happened in the interlude in the next next video. Because I have to read it through. Yeah, well, that was the, vo uh, the Waking Nightmare. Hope you enjoyed seeing Dexter played. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think of Dexter and about my deck. It's just a quick deck, so it's not trying to be really clever or anything. But yeah, we'll see how we fare in the ten th um, in the thousand shapes of horror scenario next time. Thanks for watching, and until next time.